Okay, I'm just remaking this video because I made a tiny calculation error on um, part four. So, first one is just the state hooks law. Um, I won't write it fully out, but basically hooks law is the one that says that the force, the restoring force is proportional to uh, the displacement or the extension so um uh, yeah i'm more interested in the calculation parts right now so for part two um calculate the elastic constant of the spring so there's two forces acting here the weight and this restoring force f so that's kx is the restoring force and that has to equal mg so you get k equals mg over x and if i just take out my calculator where did i put my calculator here it is just take out my calculator okay the m is 0 0.200 the g is 9.8 and the extension from 150 to 185 is 35 millimeters so that's 0 0.035 and that's equal to 56.0 newtons per meter um that's done that's done part three calculate the period of oscillation that's t equals 2 pi root m over k 2 pi root m over k so that's 0 0.375 seconds 4 calculate the maximum acceleration maximum acceleration is a omega squared but the a is 2 pi over t and the amplitude um, from 185 to 200 that's 15 millimeters okay so 15 millimeters so that's 0 0.015 times bracket squared 2 pi over the answer i just got so that's 4.20 meters per second squared part 5 what's the maximum speed uh, what's the speed when it has a maximum acceleration it's zero part six um find an expression for the linear velocity of an object moving in circular motion so i think the quickest way is with calculus v equals d s d t but the s is the arc length distance it travels which would be or theta the or is a constant so you can pull it out and the d, dt to dt by definition is omega um, calculate the angular velocity when it's rotating in this horizontal uh, vertical circle now so um, omega is 2 pi over t and this time t is half a second so that's 12.6 radians a second and also calculate the v v equals omega or so just multiply my answer by the radius which is 0 0.11 so that's 1.38 meters per second i'm going to do the diagram next the label diagram so it's moving in a circle and it's at minimum tension at the top and the only two forces acting on it is the tension and the weight and that means for the last part here part eight the um tension plus the mg that's the centripetal force um m omega squared or or you want to use the other formula m 
v squared over r. So you can get t is mv squared over r minus mg. m, 0 0.2 times v squared over r minus m times g. So that's 1.51 newtons. And I think I think those are the same answers I got last time for all the questions. Somebody know it. I, uh, Tom know it. I didn't t write the square on on a um. I missed the square on the t on my part four calculations. So sorry about that. Um, let's just jump to the last moment. Yeah, looking like it's the same. Okay, so that should be fixed now. Thank you and apologies.